Here's the Elliott Wave forecast from March 22nd, 2012. On the S&P 30-day one-minute chart, it looks like uh, we have um, either Wave 1, Wave 2, Wave 3, Wave 4. Or let's give you 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 into Wave 2. I would like for this to be a Wave 2, so we get a zigzag ABC. And um, this is actually a, a 4 or a 2. A zigzag would test as low as 13.95 tomorrow and a gap down before reversing in the third wave. Or this could be ABC in the fourth wave and reverse to in the fifth wave. Um, but um, based on the, what's happening with the NASDAQ and NDX, uh, S&P could actually be in a 4 or 3 before a 5 or 3. And if if it ends up uh, dropping to 13.95 and taking out 14.14 in the coming days, it'll set up a move to as high as uh, 14.40 and then S&P. For NDX. When we look at this chart, it looks like uh, wave 1, wave 2, wave 3, wave 4 into a 5 or 3. And um, if uh, wave 1 equals uh, wave 5, highest chart that I have would be as high as uh, 2790 in a, in a 5 or 3. If we can take out 2750 tomorrow, um, it, it did fade into the close, but if it takes out 2750 somehow and um, holds a 2715 to the downside, uh, again, the 503 target would be as high as uh, 2790. So that would be 1, 2, 3, 4, and 503. For NASDAQ, it's going to be wave 1, wave 2, wave 3, wave 4, and 503. If it takes out 3090 tomorrow, um, the highest target I have, 503 would be as high as, um, let me check, da -da -da, about 3150. 3150 to 3175, which was much as my, my um, highest target to have for this third wave and a 5 of 3. For the Dow, the Dow has a different has a different chart from everything else because it's it's lagging right now. But this could be wave 1, wave 2, wave 3, wave 4, wave 5, and a wave 2. And we might test 13,050 tomorrow if, if we got <clears throat> we gap down in a uh, C wave. This could be ABC. And Dow looks like it's more in a, like it's in a wave two instead of a wave four because this is this is deeper than a four and it's lasting longer than a four, so we might test uh, thirteen thousand fifty before rever um, reversing into a possible three. But if you look at S and P, um, NDX, and Nasdaq, they're all setting up for fifth for five or threes. So S and P um, retracement is, is shallow enough to be a four or three before a five or three. So um, all I expect right now is, is that the retracement in the past couple of days is a 4 or 3 before 5 or 3s. That's a wrap.